this basic framework, this basic structure of agentic AIs that could do the things that I'm talking about, that is multi-model, has now turbocharged AI startups of all kinds. And now you can also, because of the, all of the open models and all the tools that we provided you, you could also customize your AIs to teach your AI skills that nobody else is teaching. Nobody else is causing their AI to become intelligent or smart in that way. You could do it for yourself. And that's the work that we do with Nemotron, Nemo, and all of the things that we do with open models is intended to do. You put a smart router in front of it, and that router is essentially a manager that decides which one of the tasks, based on the intention of the prompts that you give it, which one of the models is best fit for that application, for that solving that problem. Okay, so now, when you think about this architecture, what do you have? When you think about this architecture, all of a sudden you have an AI that's on the one hand, completely customizable by you. Something that you could teach to do your own very skills for your company. Something that's domain secret. Something where you have deep domain expertise. Maybe you've got all of the data that you need to train that AI model. On the other hand, your AI is always at the frontier, by definition. You're always at the frontier on the one hand, you're always customized on the other hand, and it should just run. And so we thought we would make the simplest of examples to make it available to you. This entire framework we call a bl blueprint. But what we do is show you a, a short example of something that anybody can do. Let's build a personal assistant. I wanted to help me with my calendar, emails, to-do lists, and even keep an eye on my home. I use Brev to turn my DGX Spark into a personal cloud. So I can use the same interface whether I'm using a cloud GPU or a DGX Spark. I use a Frontier model API to easily get started. I wanted to help me with my emails, so I create an email tool for my agent to call. I want my emails to stay private, so I'll add an open model that's running locally on the Spark. Now for any job, I want the agent to use the right model for the right task, so I'll use an intent-based model router. This way, prompts that need email will stay on my Spark, and everything else can call the Frontier model. I want my assistant to interact with my world, so I'll hook it up to Hugging Face's Ricci mini robot. My agent controls the head, ears, and camera of the Ricci with tool calls. Hi, I'm Ricci, running on DGX Spark. Hey Ricci, what's on my to-do list today? Your to-do list today. Grab groceries, eggs, milk, butter, and send Jensen the new script. Okay, let's send Jensen that update. Tell him we'll have it for him by the end of the day. Will do. Ricci, there's a sketch too. Can you turn it into an architectural rendering? Sure. Nice. 